truck drivers across the nation supporting former President Trump announce a boycott on shipments to New York City in protest of a civil fraud ruling fining Trump over $350 million. Chicago Ray, a vocal pro-Truckers for Trump advocate, calls for solidarity in avoiding deliveries to NYC, sparking a nationwide movement. The public witnesses a unique form of protest within the trucking community against what they perceive as unjust treatment of Trump. Don't miss what led to the truckers' boycott in response to the civil fraud ruling against Trump. How did Judge Arthur Ingeron's ruling affect Trump's business operations in New York? What initiatives have individuals like Elena Cardone taken to support Trump amidst legal challenges? Hey, folks, your old pal Chicago Ray. Uh, I've been on the radio talking, talking to drivers for about the last hour, hour 15 minutes. And uh, I'm talking to at least 10 drivers going the other way. I'm heading down from South Wisconsin. And uh, they're going to start refusing loads in New York City starting on Monday. All right. Uh, I got about three drivers that I drive with. They already vibrated the boss and told them they ain't going to New York City. So I, I don't know uh, how far across the country this is or how many truckers are going to start denying loads to go going to New York City. But <laughs> I'll tell you what. You fuck around and find out. Yeah, I'll tell you what. You fuck around and find out. Express your frustrations and stand firm against any perceived interference or unfair treatment. Use emotive language to strengthen the impact of your position. Okay? We're tired of you motherfucking leftists fucking with Trump. We're tired of you motherfucking leftists fucking with Trump. In the midst of political interference, individuals experience intense emotions feeling targeted and oppressed by the opposing group. Okay. You know, motherfuckers are starting to get tired of this shit. And, and you know, our bosses ain't going to care if we deny the loads. We'll just go somewhere else. Our bosses ain't going to care if we deny the loads. We'll just go somewhere else. In politics, individuals demonstrate a resolute dedication to their beliefs showcasing unwavering loyalty despite potential personal costs. All right, you know how fucking hard it is to get into New York City with one of these motherfuckers? Man, fuck that. All right? Man, fuck that. Bye. The concept of adopting a carefree attitude towards difficult or unpleasant situations and the tendency to avoid circumstances that one finds objectionable. I'll tell you, I, 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 I don't wish nothing on nobody, but I, by what I'm hearing, this is real. This, you know, we'll see. But, you know, leave Trump the fuck alone with the bullshit. All right? You know, he ain't, you know you ain't got shit on Trump, so cut the bullshit. He's going to win this motherfucker on appeal, but it's still, you know, it's bullshit. It's election interference. So, we'll see what happens. I ain't, you know, I hate to say it, man, but motherfucking truckers are, uh, truckers are for Trump, man. I mean, we're like 95, 96% out here. All Trump. Ain't no motherfuckers for Biden. I hate to say it, man. But my fucking truckers are for Trump. I mean, 95, 96% out here all Trump. Ain't no motherfuckers for Biden. The importance of building strong unity among different factions, promoting a unified support for Trump, and expressing frustration about the perceived lack of support for Biden. All right, man. Uh, I'll let you know what else I hear by, you know, by the time Monday rolls around, but... Chicago Ray, checking in. We'll see you down the road. A growing number of pro-Trump truckers, led by Chicago Ray, declare their refusal to transport shipments to New York City 
as a form of protest against the recent fraud ruling against Trump. The movement gains traction, prompting discussions on social media and a GoFundMe campaign to support. Trump's defense. The public is left intriguing by the unconventional nature of this boycott and the intersection of political sentiment within the trucking industry. Judge Arthur F. Engeren's recent ruling regarding Donald Trump is perceived as a passionate response from staunch pro-Trump advocates. It reflects their unwavering loyalty to Trump, their perception of unfair treatment, and delves into the realm of individual beliefs. This decision is not merely a legal judgment, but a symbolic protest against the tracker's choice to boycott deliveries to New York City, labeling it as a prejudice ruling. It stands as an assertion of an individual's right to choose and a form of civil disobedience aligned with democratic values and individual responsibility, resisting perceived injustice. Psychologically dissecting the statements of Chicago Ray and others, Donald Trump emerges as a figure, opposing interference and unfair treatment. He becomes representative of democratic values, resisting left-wing influence while upholding his own set of principles. Referring to this ruling as election interference is a politically motivated characterization of the legal challenge against Donald Trump. This framing allows individuals to interpret events through their personal lens and democratic values that safeguard the democratic processes. The initiative to create a GoFundMe page to support Donald Trump's defense in this ruling becomes a tangible manifestation of support. It represents individuals taking concrete actions to defend what they believe is right, showcasing a personal commitment to their values. The collective identity termed Truckers for Trump, as described by the trackers, can be psychologically analogied as a shared purpose and solidarity, reflecting meaning and a sense of belonging in the democratic values and shared beliefs of the community. Chicago Ray's cautionary words, fuck around and find out, serve as a defense posture, symbolizing defiance in his message and resistance to attacks against Donald Trump. It signifies an individual's unwavering commitment to their position and a readiness to face the consequences. This collective identity embodies a community's determination to stand together in the face of challenges upholding their shared democratic values. What do you think? I promote myself and my videos. Hello, I'm Bong Sim, a Canadian resident of Asian descent. During the day, I work as a professional counselor, and at night, I do Uber food delivery. Instead of speaking in my videos, I prefer to express myself through writing. In today's world, speaking the truth can have serious consequences, both for my professional life and personal well-being. That's why I'm choosing to pen down my thoughts and using a platform to share them on my behalf. Some people find my videos uninteresting, too strict, and they even criticize the appearance of the individuals featured, including their tiredness, Asian, or perceived flaws. I understand these concerns, but I genuinely believe in the purpose behind creating these videos. Unfortunately, recent Canadian legislation has resulted in the censorship of free speech and online content, and although Google hasn't explicitly admitted their involvement, I suspect they play a part in it. Despite my efforts to monetize my content on YouTube, I haven't been able to earn any income from it. I've tried three times, and all my attempts were rejected. They turned me down for reasons like lacking creativity, not having a recognizable face, or not having a distinct voice. Nevertheless, I've made several adjustments to my videos, hoping to overcome these challenges. If you share my belief and support what I'm doing, I would genuinely appreciate your backing.